we're now inside the tummy and you can see this huge large cyst occupying the entire tummy. So we've used an instrument to a needle kind of a thing to put inside the cyst and to aspirate all this chocolate colored fluid from the cyst so that the cyst becomes smaller, allowing us more space inside the tummy to be able to operate on the cyst. You can see the cyst shrinking in size. Now the cyst has become smaller. This is the uterus I'm picking up with my right hand, just sucking up some fluid from inside the tummy. This is the left ovary with the fallopian tube. This is an endometriotic spot. I'm not going to go into details of what is endometriosis. We have an entire podcast dedicated to that. This is another endometriotic spot. So this is basically an endometriotic cyst that we are trying to remove. So this is the right ovary with the cyst attached to it, now collapsed. So I'm now using uh, electric current to cut off the excess portion of the cyst. It's a fairly large cyst, almost about uh, eight to 10 centimeters in size, which is occupying the entire abdomen, and obviously causing a lot of discomfort to the patient. So the first step is removing the entire 8 to 10 centimeters of cyst, which is attached to the ovary. You can see the inside of the cyst now, now that the outer wall has been opened up. We are very careful in dissecting out only the cyst portion of it, so that ovary is not damaged by any means. The ovarian cortex, the bulk of the ovary, should always remain behind for the patient. Carefully looking each time before I'm actually making a cut to ensure I'm only cutting out the cyst wall and not part of the ovary. video has been speeded up to make it a little less boring and technical for the people viewing the video. These are some very, very advanced laparoscopic instruments which are used for doing these kind of surgeries. There you see the last portion of the cyst, which is on the left side, being removed from the ovary, which is on the right side. See, the cyst is now completely gone. The second part of the surgery involves that these cysts have something called a germinal layer inside the ovary, and these cysts arise from the germinal layer. If we were to only remove the bulk of the cyst, as in what we did in part one, and not remove this germinal layer, then the cyst is going to come back very, very soon. So it's very important that this germinal layer also be kind of you know, scraped out or scooped out um, from the ovary and removed incomplete. Not that removing of the germinal wall will completely eliminate the cyst coming back, but the chances of it coming back are much lesser. Or maybe it will come back after many, many years as compared to maybe many weeks if the germinal layer is not removed. That is the germinal layer in the left hand being removed. So now what is left behind is only the ovary. 
So this is the left ovary, the right ovary and the uterus. Again, some washing has been done, some cooling has been done. And this on the right side is now the complete ovary left behind without the cyst. This ovary is now open, so there is a possibility of things getting stuck to the ovary. So, which is why we need to suture the ovary back to make it come back to its original shape. Suturing inside the tummy again is a very technical process. Looks very simple from the outside, but can be quite complicated when trying to do it. So I'm stitching the two sides of the ovary back again in a manner that does not damage the ovary, does not damage the blood supply to the ovary. So the ovary has now been completely stitched back. We cut off the threads. At the end of each surgery, we always try and wash off the abdomen to ensure that small little particles, blood particles are all washed off from inside, leaving behind healthy uh, organs inside.